What's going on guys? Today we have some huge news. So about six months ago, I put out my first Blender plugin, Director 3D. I wanted to make a tool that could help streamline production. And still to this day, Director 3D is the only Blender plugin that I've seen that's specifically made and marketed for music videos. Since then, the plugin has evolved with things like Light Studio and the Pi menu being added, which makes this an all around tool, which honestly I use every time I open Blender. So with that said, today I released a massive update for that plugin. You're getting heaps of new content, new features, as well as Blender 4 compatibility. The best part is if you already own the plugin, you're getting all that completely for free. To get the new updated version, you just need to check your email. I'm going to send out a notification to everyone that purchased with a new download link that'll take you to Director 3D 1.3 version. This only works for Blender 4 and above, so make sure you guys have updated your Blender version as well before installing the new updated plugin. So let's talk about everything that's new. So starting off with our templates, we have a forest generator, an interior builder, a new Geonode missile system, which is actually built using the new simulation nodes, which is pretty cool, a new ocean scene preset, water preset, and a tunnel preset. In effects, we have fireworks as well as a rain generator. And then you're getting a new panel here called backgrounds, which I absolutely love. So starting with the forest generator, let's load that in. So here's a quick look at the forest generator. So what I love the most about this plugin is that all of these templates and effects, these aren't set things. Your forest does not have to look like this every single time with the same trees, the same grass. These are all systems and not presets, meaning you can use any assets, any materials that you want. If you plug them into these set collections that we have set up here, it's going to update in real time. So for example, if I go here and I look up a model of a flower, all I have to do is take that new asset and place it into the marked collection here for flowers just like this, and instantly you guys are gonna see your new asset appear in the system. So let me just scale that down and apply the scale. And you can do this with almost every single one of these templates. All these assets, the trees, the grass that you see here, these are essentially all just placeholder objects for whatever you want to put into the system. To control the system, you select here, you go to your modifiers, and you have everything organized completely for you. You can add displacement, there's procedural options for a lot of these, which are great for adding large background scenes. You can change density and much, much more. Like I said, I'm not gonna give you a full tutorial on how to use every single thing. I'll save that for the tutorials part of the playlist. I just wanted to get across that anything in these collections, these different models, these are all placeholders. It's up to you on what you want to place into your scene. So here's another cool one, interior, interior Builder. I love this one because you have a little toggle option here if you want to go into house mode or dungeon mode. So if we go into dungeon mode, it's gonna give you this sort of larger procedural um, hallways. There's interior settings as well as house settings. So if we go over to the interior settings, you're gonna see you have probability, such as adding lights to the walls, adding objects on the floor, adding core on the floor. And again, all of these objects you can choose whatever it is you want. So I can bump up the light probability. You're going to see this light up. There's even an add ceiling option, which has its own probability right here, probability of ceiling decor. So you can add your own ceiling objects if you want, which is pretty nice. Everything also has its own seed option. So if you want, if you want to just create like a still render, you can just click through this little seed button until you find a scene that you want. And I thought that this was a great tool just for people who are trying to make a video, but you don't really know how to create the setting. Trying to create something like this with planes would be extremely tough. Creating everything procedurally is much, much more efficient. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to use this procedural option where it's just creating these random patterns, of course, you can control the procedural option. You can change things around manually in the procedural section, but you can also do this by hand. So we're going to uncheck toggle procedural, and this is really fun. What you can do is just select this, go into edit mode, and to make this easier, I'm just going to click uh, F7 to go into this above head view. You can make your interior however you want. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edge select mode, and you can just extrude any of these edges, and you're going to see in real time the plugin actually create those walls that you're designing and this also works within house mode house settings is very nice you can click and add rooms as easy as this you also have control over the doors which you have here and you can even use your probability to create different shapes for the interior again everything works just like with dungeon mode you can click to add a ceiling your probability for your wall interiors for your lights 
And again, you have full control over the models here. So right now it's just these placeholder dungeon assets. If you wanted to make like a nice rustic townhouse interior, you could easily just come over to your collections and swap out the materials, which you have for the floor and the wall and swap out all of these models, which are in the collections. And again, just like dungeon mode with house mode, you can uncheck procedural. Let's go over to wireframe just to see these better. We can again make the house interior however we want. So if you want, you could put down like an image of a blueprint and just kind of and just extrude however you want. But I thought this was a really cool tool just for being able to create whatever it is you want, whatever setting you want, fully procedural, fully customizable. Now with our simulation nodes missile, this one is like a lot of the effects where you can just draw the missile wherever you want it. So all you have to do is once you click in the missile, select this draw missile object, you just go into edit mode. You can grab this little draw freehand spline tool and just draw the missile. And there we go. Let's add in a sun so we can see this little bit. So like I mentioned before, this is powered by simulation nodes, which is very nice because if we select this and we go to our modifiers, you have control over when the smoke is fading out. So if I pump this up higher, you're going to see the smoke is going to fade out almost instantly. And alternatively, if I put that at zero, it's just never going to smoke. It's just never going to fade out. So you have a lot of customization options to get some really cool renders out of this. You also can change the missile object or the missile material. So if you want to swap out to a different missile, for example, switch to this Hellfire missile and now we have something else. So that is interchangeable. If you want, you can just untoggle the missile and just have sort of like a meteor shape and you can change the size of this blast with an interchangeable texture as well. This is just some animated placeholder texture. So this one was really fun to make. We now have a new ocean scene preset here. I put this little cube here as a placeholder. You can place anything it'll bob on the ocean. And this one works really well with those new backgrounds that I was talking about. If you just come in here, sky pack, bam. You know, you can bring this in here. It's going to emit light onto the ocean. And I mean, if you're just trying to pump out some quick little like music visualizers or whatever, this would be a super nice little visualizer that you could render out almost instantly. You can just change out the buoy, add the lighting you want. And then in After Effects or something, you could add some lyric videos. I thought this one would be super useful. And of course, everything interchangeable. Yeah, you can make some pretty cool stuff just with a couple of clicks and putting things together, changing things around. Water is pretty similar. It's essentially just a plane of water and it's animated. You can do the same. You can add a background if you want, or you can embed this into other things like the forest. For example, if we bring the forest in and just sort of lower this around the displaced plane, we can make some sort of ponds or puddles. Now, this one is also very cool and it's going to look very disgusting off of rip because I, by default, gave it this sort of fleshy tunnel look. And again, remember what I said earlier, these are systems. These are systems, not just presets. So I didn't think, oh, everyone's going to need this fleshy tunnel. I was sort of just inspired by that Drake Lil Yachty music video uh, from Lyrical Lemonade. But essentially what this is, is a displaced tunnel where you can go and you can just add to the array. If you want this to be longer, it's a better visualization of that. So you have a displaced tunnel and you have an emitter. So you can change this emitter object. These particles are just going to fly through the tunnel. And if you want, again, you can change this to anything. So I could come over here and let's change it to this texture and let's change our emitter, a different object. And now you see we have a completely different look. So again, just a very basic setup, but it's customizable and it allows you to do with it what you want. It also looks very cool whenever you enable motion blur as well. Now for our effects, we have two very simple ones. The first one being fireworks, and this one is pretty large scale. So let me zoom out here, go to view and just Give us a bit more view here. So this one is a nice little fireworks emitter. And the color of these fireworks are actually dependent on location. So if I was to take the simulation here and just like move it around, you're going to see as I move it all the way over here, it's different. And of course, you can change that in the shader editor if you'd like. We just take a look at that. That's really all it is, just an emission placed into object location. And the other one in effects is very simple as well. It's just a simple little rain generator. It's just something to add a little bit more ambiance. You have your raindrops. And of course, these are going to look pretty bad unless you have motion blur. Once you have motion blur enabled, it's going to make that nice blurred, realistic looking rain. And then you're getting a new panel here called backgrounds, which I absolutely love. It may seem simple on the surface, but I think that this is probably the most useful thing that I put in. You're going to have different categories here. These are just simple image plates. I use the sky pack for a lot of these thumbnails. Very nice for simple little renders. 
Cool thing about this as well, if we go over and change to cycles, and we'll add in a cube here, these backgrounds actually emit light as well. Same goes with our smoke. We have a bunch of different smoke. We have fire and we have particles. These are simple items that can add a lot to your render. They're all pre-animated as you can see. So that is everything new. Again, if you want to look into the other templates, we have tons of them in here. All of them do different things. All of them, like I said, are systems like everything else. For example, um, our city generator here, you can change any of these objects and it's going to in real time change in your city generator and you can control them from the materials. It's all a similar feel. I'm just trying to add in as I go along some more systems which can be useful to you guys. If you want an overview of everything that's new, there's a new Director 3D project page on my website with a full change log. That's the best place to stay updated. There's also planned features and a suggestion box in case you guys want to suggest anything you want to see in the plugin. That's about it, guys. I do want to quickly talk about why I'm investing time into 3D for the past six years, my job has been to study music videos, learn the creative techniques used to make them, and then teach those techniques here on YouTube. I noticed a rising trend was the amazing capability of using 3D softwares in video production, not just with music videos, but with content as a whole. I really think that 3D is the tool of the future for indie studios or solo freelancers or YouTubers or whatever. So if you do own the plugin, if you do decide to pick up the plugin, thank you so much for your support. Back to our normal schedule next week. See you guys then. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.